At one point, I did have a less than 1% chance of survival. So, with how well I'm doing now, it's amazing that I took the 1%. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm a daredevil, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like saying no. Like, I don't like giving up and I'm all about what I can do. I'm a quadruple amputee, but I'm also a national trampolining champion. At the age of seven, I had to relearn how to walk, to write, you know, do all that again. At just seven years old, Isabel contracted meningitis, an infection affecting the protective membranes that surround the brain and spinal cord. I didn't have a clue what meningitis was. And I remember when I got to the A&E department at Derby Hospital, I was lying on a bed and there were over 10 members of staff all working on me. Um, and that was kind of the point where I realised, hang on a minute, this is serious, like something's happening here that shouldn't be. and then my heart stopped. I was in a coma for around a week. I had multiple organ failure. In order to stop the infection from spreading, Isabel had to have four of her limbs amputated. I think I was aware that my legs were getting amputated, but I knew that it had to happen for me to survive. children deal with stuff very differently and actually she was very matter-of-fact about it all. Over the years I've found a way to do everything that I could do before and if not more. In year seven I started trampolining and my teacher started putting me forward for competitions after practice for a, a couple months um, and that was when I started to win them. <laughs> I got my home home. We got it. I got in the coat. Have you got your bag or anything? No, I don't have a bag. I wouldn't take a bag. Okay. because she you jump quite high and she chucks herself about a bit. I think she likes the kind of slightly scariness of trampolining, you know, it's a bit the adrenaline rush of jumping. Lift it up. I like trampolining because I like the challenge of having to learn new moves. There's so many different levels of difficulty. Lift it up. Wait. Better. Better back draw. If you ask her, are you scared of anything, the only thing she'll say is spiders. So she hasn't really got any other fears. My sister it doesn't really stop, doesn't let anything get in her way and stuff. She's more of like a daredevil than both of us, I'd say. Well, she's just done loads of practice today for the competition tomorrow, so she's much happier about her trampolining. Yeah, it went so, really well. And um, 
I just didn't even realize she had a competition tomorrow. <laughs> I had been told, so. <laughs> hmm. Due to Isabel's success in trampolining, she started a YouTube channel to show other people how well she adapts to life with her amputations. Hey guys, it's Izzy. So I started by posting um, videos of my trampoline and then moved on to posting makeup tutorials because they were always questions of people asked like, how do you do that? Just showing people how I live my day to day life. Nine things that I can do that you wouldn't think I could do. So yeah, let's go on into the video. At the moment, I am happy with my my pink legs. How do you put on your prosthetics? So I put them on completely by myself. Maybe one day in the future I'll show you, but as of right now, I'm not really comfortable showing how I do that. Yeah, she like, really inspires me when I like watch her doing like a trampoline as I always try and do the moves that she's doing. But I can't do half of them, because <laughs> I'm not very she good. She does inspire a lot of other people as well. In the future, I definitely want to become national champion again and also try and put a somersault into my routine in trampoline and that would be really cool. And just continue with the YouTube and everything I'm doing at the moment. I think sometimes I have to remind myself that she's only 14 and she's had some amazing experiences. However dark days have been. Every cloud has a silver lining and a lot of these things we would never have had the opportunity to do if she hadn't got ill. Life's for living so it's it's brilliant. I think a lot of people are surprised with how well I live my life independently. People don't realise that I can still do everything I want to do, that I'll go out by myself and um, that I'll do whatever sports I want to do and that I don't let it stop me. 